Welcome to Track Talk, your go-to pit stop for all things Formula One. This weekend, we dive into the adrenaline-filled Mexican Grand Prix. A weekend of spins, repairs, surprise four-sitters, and a whole lot of drama. I'm Margaret, and I'm here to bring you the bus in just minutes. Starting off, let's flash back to Friday practice. Ferrari came in hot, ready to set the pace, even though they hit a few early roadblocks. Charles Leclerc had a limited run in FP1 because Ferrari handed over his car to their young gun. Oliver Berman. Now, Berman got more than just a taste of F1 action. He got a face to face with Alex Albon's Williams when Albon lost control and smashed into him. Albon sat out the entire FP2 while Berman was left reeling from the shunt. Ferrari's start to the weekend was imperfect, but it was about to get way more interesting. Mercedes, meanwhile, looked sharp early on. George Russell was the man of the hour, putting down the fastest lap in FP1. But in true F1 style, the highs didn't last long. FP2 saw Russell spinning into the barriers after hitting the curbs too close. The impact was heavy, the damage extensive and Mercedes had to race against the clock to replace his chassis overnight. Over at Red Bull, things weren't easy either. Max Verstappen dealt with an engine issue that Red Bull's Helmut Marco called a leak somewhere. They thought they had it patched up by FP2 only to find it wasn't quite done. Max managed just four laps in the second session. Red Bull was flying blind while McLaren found their groove. Oscar Piastri came close to Ferrari's Carlos Sainz trailing him by just 0.178 seconds in FP2 and Lando Norris even nabbed a top five spot. McLaren was in the mix, folks. With practice over, it was time for Saturday's FP3, a reset, a chance for teams to lock in their setups ahead of qualifying. McLaren seized the opportunity. Oscar Piastri went fastest with a 1 minute 16.492 seconds lap and Lando Norris was right behind, making it a 1-2 finish. Ferrari's signs kept them honest and Red Bull's Verstappen had to settle for fourth, grappling with a rare grip in Mexico's tight, twisty corners. George Russell managed a comeback, setting times that kept within the top 10. While Alex Albon and Williams' crew worked wonders to get his car ready after Friday's crash. Now let's get to the real nail biter qualifying. When it came time for Paul, it was Ferrari's Carlos Sainz who rose to the occasion. Sainz put in not just one but two stunning laps, claiming his first pole since Singapore last year. He was flawless, holding off Max Verstappen, who despite a deleted lap for track limits landed P2. Norris took P3, eyeing an opportunity to outmaneuver Verstappen at the start. Charles Leclerc came in fourth for Ferrari, but his run was scrappy as he struggled to match Sainz's pace. Further down the grid, it was heartbreak for Sergio Perez. The home hero was knocked out in Q1, sitting in 18th place after brake issues kept him from finding a rhythm. The crowd was hoping for more, but unfortunately, he just couldn't bring it together. McLaren's PS3 also had an early exit, making a costly error in Q1 that put him out of the fight and unable to support Norris in the title chase. So with signs on Paul and Verstappen, been hot on his heels. Sunday was set for a thrilling race and oh did it deliver. Carlos Sainz took control driving like a man on a mission to secure his second victory of the season. His teammate Leclerc finished third giving Ferrari a huge boost. Lando Norris, who had started third, put in a phenomenal race, splitting the Ferrari duo to grab P2. But Verstappen's weekend unraveled quickly after taking the lead with a daring move at Turn 1. A series of intense clashes followed. The first major incident, a lap 1 collision. Albon, Sonoda and Gasly tangled up at Turn 1, bringing out a safety car that set the stage for even more drama. Verstappen initially looked 
dominant, but when the race resumed, Sainz played his cards perfectly. With DRS assistance, Sainz overtook Verstappen with a clean move into Turn 1, and that's where the tides truly turned. The pivotal moment came when Verstappen found himself locked in battle with Norris. Attempting to defend his position, he pushed Lando off track, sparking a heated on-track dispute. Verstappen then made a daring lunge at Turn 7 and both drivers went wide. The stewards weren't abused and handed Verstappen two 10-second penalties, dropping him far down the order. With Max out of the picture, Leclerc seized the chance to climb up the standings through a minor slip, saw him give up second to Norris. While Sainz was pulling away up in front, the action continued in the midfield. Mercedes is Hamilton and Russell had their own battle. Ha Hamilton finally managed to make a move stake on lap 66 pulling off a brilliant overtake on Russell with DRS into Turn 1. Behind them, Verstappen's attempt to climb back were in vain. He struggled on the hard tyres, crossing the line in sixth. Rounding out the top 10 were Kevin Magnussen with solid 7th place finish for Haas and Oscar Piastri, who made up ground after his Q1 elimination to grab P8. Nico Hülkenberg held on to 9th, just managing to keep his heart in point scoring range despite tyre degradation and Alpine's Pierre Gasly squeezed into 10th. And let's not forget Perez racing at home. He was penalised from the start due to a grid box misplacement and then an incident with Lime Lawson damaged his car's floor and side ports. A tough race left him bringing up the rear far from the home podium he'd dreamed of. In the end, it was all smiles for Ferrari. Science's victory marks a return to form from, for the prancing horse. And with only a few races left in the season, Ferrari's battle in the Constructors' Championship is heating up. Verstappen's penalties cost him dearly and gave his rivals a much-needed boost in the final leg of 2024. And there you have it. An intense, data-packed Mexican GP weekend loaded with surprises, penalties and a pull-to-win drive by signs. Now a few facts from the Mexican Grand Prix. After this race, Lando moves to 47 points behind Verstappen with four races to go. Ferrari are now P2 in the WCC with only 29 points separating them from McLaren. Christian Horner brought several pages of data to argue Max Verstappen's penalties when speaking to journalists. The stewards committee for the race saw the presence of the son of McLaren's founder giving more room for the controversial penalizing of Max that cost him his lead on the championship and also the race. Tense moments and gesturing was observed between Liam Lawson, who was eyeing a Red Bull seat when he passed the existing Red Bull seat holder Sergio Perez, who he might replace given his performance this weekend. Leclerc did not seem very pleased about his P3 and his teammate winning as he was asked to slow down a bit on team orders and maybe thought he should have been asked to switch positions with Sainz but nevertheless Sainz got his desired victory before he leaves Ferrari next season with nothing to lose like the others on the grid. Next stop is Sao Paulo in Brazil so who impressed you? the most this weekend. Can Ferrari carry this momentum forward and will Verstappen shake off these penalties in the next round? Leave your thoughts in the comments and remember to subscribe for more F1 insights. This is Track Talk bringing the bus in minutes. Until next time, stay fast and stay curious.